A boy hit Leo with a wooden stick, and it hit him right on the head. Leo fainted and hit his head on a rock. Mark tried to call out, but got no response. He went to check on Leo and found that he was not breathing. He then pushed Leo into the crack. When he got home, Mark realized his watch was gone and his clothes were cut up. At this point, Leo's mom realized Leo was missing and was looking everywhere. Shortly after, Mark saw the police car driving. Mark was questioned by the police about his close association with Leo. No matter what the officers asked, he said he didn't know. On the third day of Leo's disappearance, the police called the villagers to search for him. Their behavior scared Mark. There was no result until evening, so the police announced that they would continue the search tomorrow. Late at night, the sky flashed with lightning and thunder. A super typhoon hit the town, and it wasn't long before floodwaters reached the houses. With their homes destroyed, the search for Leo was put on hold. While everyone hated the typhoon, Mark was grateful to him because it helped him hide the truth.